This key match starts at 106 pounds and it's Malcolm Sinclair of High Point with the reversal as he tops Sierra Blazon 9-2 and High Point has a 3-0 lead after one match. And a good one at 113 pounds in overtime, Chase Bavis at High Point works hard to get the escape against Garrett Gernt and he holds on for a big 2-1 victory and the Wildcats are up 6-0 here at Sparta. We move to 120 pounds and we are tied at four in the third period, but that changes here. Watch Trey Osborne of High Point pick up the two back points and route to a 6-4 decision over Grant Gernt and High Point is off to a 9-0 lead. At 126 pounds, freshman Shane Kobus of High Point builds a 5-0 lead before he pins Andrew Leggy at 114 and at the four bouts, High Point has a 15-0 lead over the Spartans. High Point continues its winning ways at 132. Watch Dom Gallo turn Sean Finnegan to his back for the fall at 140, and High Point is rolling with a 21-0 lead. Second period action at 138 pounds, and it's Eric Wingle of High Point with the takedown here as he would go on to decision Sean McHugh 5-1, and it's all High Point early on, 24-0. In a highly anticipated match at 145 pounds, Watch Jared Kobus a high point with the third period reversal as he tops Ian Burke 6-4 and it's 27-0 high point. Wow. I was coming in here knowing I was going to probably have him unless they bumped him away, but he's a big kid, tough kid, hard to wrestle. And high point notches its eighth straight win here to start the match at 152 pounds. Watch Jason Gassion build a 7-0 lead before he pins Nathan Sowers in 308 and high point is off to a great 33-0 lead with six matches remaining. We go to 160 pounds and Walker Schmitzer of Sparta gets the Spartans' first takedown of the match here as he would go on to decision Ryan Cullen 4-0 and Sparta trails 33-3. At 170 pounds, it's Al Falco of Sparta finally getting Brett Tiger to his back for the first period pin in 53 seconds. It keeps Sparta's hopes alive as it cuts High Point's lead to 33-9 with four matches left. Sparta needs bonus points at 182 pounds and the Spartans get it here. Watch Connor Laurie power Kurt Rosner to his yeah. back for the fall in 102, and Sparta's still alive, but trails 33-15. We go to 195 pounds, and Zach Herbert of Sparta notches another pin here with the Peterson as he decks Richard Kincaid in 224, and Sparta cuts high points lead to 12, 33-21 with two matches left. Oh, boy. But Kevin Lewis of High Point seals the deal for the Wildcats at 220 pounds as he gets the back points as he would go on to Major Robbie Gannott 11 to 1. High Point with forfeit at 285 as they post a very convincing 37 27 victory over the Spartans. It felt good just to win it for the team and get it done. We just hoped uh, we won the flip and that we get the send out that we wanted to. I mean, we, did, we wanted to match up with the heavyweight that I got, so. It worked out pretty well. We were all working hard in the room this week. We really wanted to get this win under our belt. We knew it was going to be a close, tough match, but we got it rolling since the beginning, and that just won it for us pretty much. It was a good win, bouncing back from uh, earlier in this week, and we had a, a tough tie with uh, Jefferson. We won it out in uh, Criteria, so it was good to get the guys rolling again, and uh, everybody just did their part, and we were out to come out on top a little bit more room than uh, the last match. It's a big win. We work hard, and it, we paid off. Spartans got a real nice club, and. Uh... You know, for our kids to come come away with a victory was was nice. They, uh, you know, started early and, and uh, you know we we performed pretty much all the way through the lineup. You know, we've got some places we have to get a little bit better, but uh, you know, kids kids have been working and they want to do it. So uh, yeah, just kind of kind of fun to fun to be working through this with them. And talk about the lightweights on your team starting at 106, but some of those lightweights, particularly the freshmen, really came up big for you guys today. Yeah, uh, Malcolm came through big. Shane came through big with a pin, and Chase he lost to that kid earlier or last year. He came through big with that win. It was exciting. We've always been big on getting the ball rolling, so uh, we had the little guys out first. So uh, we told them, got them pumped up, and uh, got them out there, and they did what they did. Won some close matches, and uh, that's what won the match for us. I mean, if it went another way, it could have been a different match. So they did a real good job. You're talking about what does this do for you guys with your confidence and everything after this nice win? I think it boosts our confidence and uh, it gives other teams that we're not just flip overs this year that we can actually do stuff that we were able to do.